Hey guys, what is going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech. And since I've been doing a lot of reviews recently, I decided to throw a tutorial into a mix. So what we're gonna be doing today is installing or compiling Cool Retro Terminator, which is a really like old fashioned type terminal setup if you are interested into that on your Raspberry Pi. And you can basically control or use the terminal from there. So let's get started. Before I begin, I do want to make an announcement to my sponsor. They actually have an Amazon store that sells cell phone accessories and they're planning to add gadgets and gadgets and stuff like that. Right now, they currently have like cell phone rings and also magnetic clip holders for those cell phone rings and some cell phone cases. On the description down below, I do have a 10% coupon for their store. So check it out. So with that out of the way, let's get started. So what we're going to be installing is cool retro term by this guy named Swordfish90. And I'm going to leave a link in the description to his GitHub. And also I don't have my HDMI capture device because it's been broken. So I'm actually using a weird way to record, but the steps are super easy to install. It's everything on his GitHub. So we're just going to basically follow that and and go along with what he wrote. Now to get started, I am using a fresh copy of uh, Raspbian Buster, and this is on the Raspberry Pi 4 with two gigabyte model. Now I have a terminal opened up on the side, which is big enough font so you guys could probably see. And like I said, uh, his GitHub, which link in the description. Uh, scrolling down a little bit, he kind of demonstrates what it looks like and it, it looks really good. Especially if you do that kiosk thing that I made that video about and just boots right into this terminal mode, it, it looks really cool. So I'm gonna scroll right down to where it says build instructions for Linux and anything that's Debian, Jesse, and above. So he has this code right over here that gets all the, oops, that gets all the repositories and libraries that you need to install and compile his software. Once you click that, I'm just gonna paste it into my terminal, hit enter, and let that go forward. It's 55 megabytes extra on your hard drive space which is not too bad. All right, so that took only about three minutes to install everything, so that wasn't too bad. So over here, I'm gonna actually do git clone recursive, and then I'll paste his link right here. Let that download. And over here is the compile script, compile script, which is not bad. It's just change over to his directory and then do the QMake. So I'm gonna CD, cool retro term q make all right then make and because we have four cores i'm going to do dash j and put the number four so it uses all four cores this doesn't take too long to compile either so let's give it a couple of minutes now because this uses qt and it is a more aesthetically a pleasing terminal it does use a little bit more resources than your normal terminal because it does all these graphics stuff just bear that in mind if you're going to be playing around with it and compiling stuff that requires a lot of memory and that's it. Once everything is compiled, if I hit LS, you should see this green icon thing, lettering that says cool retro term. So period slash cool retro term, hit enter. And there we have it. A really cool retro term terminal. And you can see how like it, it looks so cool when you're typing and it's got the scan lines. And there's a lot of settings in this that you could change to make it look like the way you want it to. So let's hit up a program that will actually actively make the screen move. So this is HTOP, which tells me where I, where I resources of the computer. And right click, oh no, no, it's right click up here. No, it's right click on the menu. Profile, I had to get out of it, I don't know why. There's a default profiles that you could set. So if you want it like, say, IBM DOS, you know, the white and blue and green, the one that you're actually used to looking. And you could see at the edges, you there's like some screen decor. You could actually remove that because it actually makes the screen like curved. So going into settings, you could go to effects and here are all the settings for it. Screen curve, if you disable that, it looks flat. Now, if you put it onto a screen in an actual like smaller screen like this, it'll look really good in, in that without the edges. And a lot of other stuff, you can make your own colors, you can make your own theme. Um, they just have a bunch of de default themes and let's see HTOP on this. That looks really good. So especially if I go into view, full screen. Now this takes over my entire screen. You see how cool that looks? And it's got that little scan line going on. Yeah, see? It's 
got a little blurry effect right now because of IBM DOS has a little blurry CTR screen type setting. But ultimately from boot up till now, and I had this running for a little bit, took me about half an hour, maybe about 15 minutes if I was just to do this right away. Let's see, man, man. This is a manual page and this is how it looks when you're scrolling down pages. It's got a little fade at the end. It looks really good. Let's see how it looks on a smaller screen. I'm gonna move this display and show you guys. This is how the cool retro terminal will look like on a five inch screen. And this is running a program called C Matrix to make it look like the matrix. But yeah, this is how it looks like. It looks really cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a really quick one and I wanted to push out this tutorial because I've been using the terminal a lot. And one of the things is aesthetically, I want to look like it was something different because it started to get boring. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you guys have any questions about this, hit it in the comments below. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is gonna be out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.